Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have unveiled an adorable new photo of baby Archie on their Instagram ahead of the new year. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex shared a shot of their young son, who is nearly eight months old, wearing a cute bobble hat and being held by Harry. Will Archie also wore little sheepskin boots given to the couple by the Australian governor, General Sir Peter Cosgrove. The royal couple wished followers a happy 2020 as they shared their highlights from 2019 in a video reel. The caption to the post read, wishing you all a very happy new year and thanking you for your continued support. We've loved meeting so many of you from around the world and can't wait to meet many more of you next year. We hope 2020 brings each of you health and continued happiness. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex The picture appears at the end of a short video, little more than a minute long, recapping the couple's year to the tune of Coldplay's clocks. Highlights from Meghan and Harry's year includes Archie being introduced to the Queen his first outing in Africa, Meghan meeting Beyoncé, and her famous Vogue cover. The Sussexes are currently on a break from royal duties, and opted to not spend Christmas with the Queen at Sandringham. Instead, they chose to spend the holidays privately in Canada, but fans were delighted when their Christmas card was unveiled showing a young Archie crawling in front of his parents. The eco-friendly card was emailed to friends and colleagues, with hard copies sent to family. Baby Archie, who was born in May, celebrated his first Christmas in an exclusive corner of Vancouver Island, Canada, 5,000 miles from the rest of the royal family. Prince Harry and wife Meghan flew to luxury deep cold with their son and Meghan Markle's mom, Doria Ragland. A Buckingham Palace spokesman said, they are enjoying sharing the warmth of the Canadian people and the beauty of the landscape with their young son. The couple were last seen in public together at the Remembrance Day services, with Harry doing a solo appearance at the Royal Albert Hall for the Unside Awards. Don't stop.